Well, Twitter is a very well-known social media platform and you might have wondered as a real estate professional how to use it or whether it is good or rather good enough for your industry or your business. Twitter is basically a blogging platform that allows you to post so-called tweets the limit of, in, in the limit of 280 characters. Additional text-based posts you can also use for additional text-based posts you can also use pictures and videos. If Twitter users have interesting and engaging content to offer, other users can follow them. Once you follow other users, you will see what they posted on your timeline. So the principle is similar to Facebook, LinkedIn and other social media platforms. You follow someone and you see on your timeline more or less what they post. By the way, Facebook is not that consistent since organic reach has been dropping over the last years. If you like a tweet that you see on your timeline, you can repost or in Twitter language retweet it. Now let's take a look at Twitter statistics. When it comes to discovery, Twitter is the number one platform to help users find out what's new. 38% of the Twitter users are between 18 and 29 years old and 26% are between 20 and 49 years old. Twitter users spend 26% more time viewing ads compared to other platforms. The site referral traffic from Twitter has grown by 6% over the years. If you, read my, if, you, if you read my article about videos in real estate, you won't be surprised that tweets with videos get 10 times more engagement. If you also use video in Twitter ads, they will be 50% cheaper in costs per engagement. The average cost per click for Twitter ads is $0.38 and the average conversion rate is reportedly 0.9%. Paid ads from Twitter convert twice as many visitors as organic tweets. Based on these numbers, this would mean a conversion rate of 0.45% for organic tweets. The average click-through rate CTR on Twitter is 1.64% and unfortunately the more followers you have, the lower is your click-through rate. If you have between 50 and 1000 followers, you can get a CTR of 6.16%, between 1000 and 5000 followers it is 1.45%, between 5000 and 10000 it is 0.55%, for more than 10000 it's 0.45%. The ideal posting frequency on Twitter is 5 times per day. Paying for followers with Twitter follower wing campaigns costs between $2.5 and $4 per follower. Based on user reporting, it can take one year to get from zero to 2,000 followers. If we take into consideration to get 10,000 followers, it may take even longer than five years. Now, let's do some marketing math to find out about Twitter's worst worth for real estate with statistics. I just with the statistics I just mentioned. We now have a good basis to see Twitter's worth for real estate marketing. This is the basic data we use in the estimation calculation. The average cost per click for Twitter ads is $0.38. The average conversion rate for Twitter ads is $0.9. The average conversion rate for organic tweets is 0.45%. The average overall click-through rate is 1.64%. Uh, the click-through rate for 50 to 1,000 followers is 6.16%. The click-through rate for 1,000 to 5,000 followers is 1.45%. The click-through rate for 5,000 to 10,000 followers is 0.55%. The click-through rate for more than 10,000 followers is 0.45%. The average cost per follower with Twitter follower campaigns is $3.25. Optimistically, you can gain 2,000 followers per year, posting five times per, five times per day and engaging otherwise. Wow, well, I must admit this was, this was a mouthful. What can we now do with this basic data? Let's first establish a marketing goal. I will use the same numbers for our hypo Tactical goal from an article on marketing plans. You can find it on hackingrealestatemarketing.com. So let's say your annual profit goal after corporate tax of 21% is $150,000. The annual revenue goal is $189,873. The monthly revenue goal would be $15,822. Your commission per 320,000 median home is $9,600. Necessary homes to sell per month would be two. Assumed lead to sales conversion rate depending depends highly on your follow-up skills or sales skills is 10%. Necessary buyer leads per month would be 22 divided by 10%. 
Okay, let's just focus on the 20 monthly buyer leads and the assumed 10% lead to sales conversion rate, which depends largely on your follow-up and sales skills. Now let's calculate the organic Twitter route for the first calculation. We take the content marketing based organic Twitter follower route. As the average traffic to lead conversion rate for organic tweets is 0.45%, it means you would need 4,444 clicks per month, 20 divided by 0.45% to generate this number of leads. Now let's calculate how many followers you would need that see your tweets and generate 4,444 clicks per month, taking into consideration on that the average overall click-through rate is 1.64%. Uh, this number would be 270,975 views per month. Wait a minute, what? <laughs> yes, I had to double check this number because I was a bit shocked and please let me know if you found an error in my calculation or have better basic statistics. So this calculation could look a bit better. I want it to look better. Well, uh, until then, the number of 270,975 views, meaning followers, means a lot of eyeballs viewing your tweets. Remember, this was for the average 1.64% click-through rate applied. Since accounts with more than 10,000 followers only get a CTR of 0.45%, the picture looks even worse. And by looking at these numbers, I would imagine that the organic route actually isn't feasible. To get a Twitter, Twitter account from 0 to 270,975 followers, unless you are already a celebrity or you are already quite advanced, because you started getting followers right in the beginning stages of Twitter, it may take you 135 years, 270,975 divided by 2,000 followers, if you manage to grow it by 2,000 real followers, not bots, per year. So, hmm, I don't know about you, but this amount of time is likely above your life expectancy and more so above the one of Twitter itself. Even if you manage to gain 10,000 followers per year, it would still take 27 years to get to 270,975. I have a feeling that you don't want to wait that long to attain your profit goals. So this doesn't look too good even though I didn't factor in the actual costs per acquisition or costs per sale taking into consideration on all the hours of content, Twitter engagements and more that you would have to invest to gain those followers. It may, may look better if your lead to customer conversion rate would be higher, such as maybe 50%. But even such an outstanding number likely won't cut it and using this scenario would be a bit too utop utop utopic for this calculation. I prefer to stay as close to reality as possible. So now let's see if the paid ads Twitter route looks a bit better. Remember to achieve the revenue profit goal I mentioned we still need our 20 buyer leads per month. With paid Twitter ads you will have a better conversion rate of 0.9% according to the statistics I mentioned at the beginning. Applying again the 10% lead to sales conversion rate, your traffic to sales conversion rate would be 0.09%, 0.9% by 10%. We also know from the beginning stats I mentioned that the average cost per click for Twitter ads is $0.38. So now we apply the newly calculated 0.09% traffic to sales conversion rate and now you will need 1,111 clicks per sale. So your costs per sale will be $422. With a commission of $9,600 per sale, not factoring in other costs, you would end up with a profit. So this paid scenario doesn't look too bad at all, provided you have the necessary, necessary capital to spend on Twitter ads. In comparison to other ad platforms such as Google Ads, LinkedIn Ads and Facebook Ads, only the cost per sale of Google Ads seem to be higher at $957. In my article about LinkedIn, I already compared the cost per sale of these platforms. There I have also a nice table which I will show you shortly here. Somewhere. So what can we make out of this information and all these numbers? If you ask me, I wouldn't bother that much in generating a huge following on Twitter for your real estate business and rather, rather focus on using the ad, plat the ad platform, platform to generate leads. If you use this route, then I would say that Twitter is good enough for your real estate business in terms of generating leads in a profitable way. 
But before you ditch this Twitter organic thing completely, there are still some benefits in using Twitter not only for generating leads. So here are some pros and cons for you. The pros. Organic followers can still drive some traffic to your website. You can keep yourself well informed about local events and influences unless they are blocked. Twitter analytics can help you find out the type of content you should focus on. You can engage with other users by using the advanced search and hashtags. You can use it also as a customer support platform for existing leads, answering certain questions and building your reputation. Sometimes you can reach out better to industry leaders via, via Twitter than with other communication methods. It's overall easy to use and messages are straightforward to post. The cons. It can be time consuming to be constantly, constantly posting, coming up with content and engaging and even more so if you want to build a huge organic following. You may be perceived as a spammer when posting too much and engaging too little. The 280 characters limit can be a challenge and impede you to communicate in an effective way. Tweets need to be timed well and posted when most of your target audience is online, otherwise they can be missed and your work will be almost for nothing. It can be easier to get complaints online, which in turn can have a negative impact. Due to the daily increase of the number of users, it gets less and less likely that your content gets seen. Oh, and if you want to find out how other real estate professionals use Twitter, just head over to my longer article about the subject. There I have a list of 23 real estate professionals that use Twitter. So that's all for now. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. And uh, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Okay, see you next time. Bye bye.